Hello coffee lovers, Damien here at Tapachi doing another quick review. I have the fabulous Seiko automatic coffee machine and I have a precision fridge sitting next to it. This machine is awesome for a small office, a school, small workplace, um, 100 cups a day capacity. So that is the key to an automatic machine. You don't want to overuse its capacity. You'll run into some issues. Um, so 100 cups a day made by Seiko, an Italian company, very well made automatic machines. The key to automatics is their service, their cleaning. That's usually where automatics become troublesome. Even though they're so easy to use with the touch of a screen, touch of a button, um, the cleaning usually takes a, a, a bit of work. So um, I'm gonna show you how to do all that. So we're gonna make a coffee with this E180. Um, so it's got some great features and functions. I'll go through everything. We'll open it up. I'll show you how to clean it. We'll make a coffee and um, let's go. So I've got an eight liter tank, nice and big, but this machine can also be plumbed. It can draw water from a barrel as well. So there's a fitting at the back there. You need to get the right pressure limiting valve because of the pressure can be plumbed, can draw from a barrel or another water source or a big eight liter tank. So that's a big tank. Um, one kilo hopper, a really big, large, easy to see, easy to use LED screen. Obviously this will come off later, so I'll undo everything. Um, and then that's your low cup for espressos. You can push that down if you don't want any splashes to occur. You got your side um, or your milk frother. We'll attach that to the milk soon. Um, let's turn it on and we will get this bad boy fired up. So I've got quite a few options of drinks on this, uh, on this main screen here. So, you know, you've got your Americanos, your Estrellas, your Espressos, your black coffees, and you've got some milk-based drinks as well. Um, hot milk, very important function. Um, yes, because this has just got beans, no consumable, so no chai or chocolate option. Chocolate powder, chai powder on the side in a cup in the office, hot milk on top, give it a stir. Um, obviously, more with macchiato, espresso with milk, so a lot of really good options. Ice latte, so that would just be a temperature. I'm gonna work out what that is. I haven't made one of those yet, so we're gonna do an ice latte and see what that comes out. So there's milk foam, so not just hot milk, frothy milk. So a lot of good options, flat white, different sizes, and that's it. So I've got 16 options. It's amazing. All right, so we're gonna make a couple and see how we go. Let's start with the basic of basics, but still my favorite, an espresso. So the good thing about this is you can lift that down so you get less splashing. So let's make an espresso. So it's fairly quiet. It's not, um, it just seems and sounds durable. I'm gonna leave that higher so you can see the extraction. Um, but you can see there's a little circle here and it's gonna say a percentage on where the drink's at. 23, 25%, 30%, so it's relatively fast. Oh, look at the crema on that. Looks really good. It's decent. It smells good. Yeah. Let's make a flat white. It's so very easy to do. Press flat white. So the milk comes through first and then the espresso will go on top. So that first sip of uh, coffee will be um, espresso more than milk. So 
flat white. Very good. Um, a little bit of excess foam there, but from an automatic machine, it's actually quite acceptable. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through some settings. Um, milk throw off a deep clean. So that, this, is, this has come up. I've only used this machine three or four times, and there are cleaning prompts that come up on the screen, which makes this machine very easy to clean. So it says, go to maintenance and click milk. Go to maintenance and click milk deep clean. So very easy to do. Let's get out of that message. Let's go to maintenance. Let's pretend I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so breweries. You can go through all these things. So there's different cleaning procedures for daily, weekly, and monthly. So when you get the machine, it's pretty straightforward, but you get a very comprehensive book that will explain what your daily, weekly, monthly, and mandatory cleaning procedures are. So very easy to do. Um, now we're doing a brewer rinse. It will do it itself. It's very straightforward. Weekly, depending on the use, there'll be a little tablet that you can insert there that will clean the machine. The Cavetto S15 is recommended for that, which is a small tablet that will clean the machine. Um, and then you can take out the milk line and you can soak the milk line in a cleaner of a solution of chemical as well. Um, but this will go through and let me go through and see, we can do a one button, one button maintenance. Okay, click on okay and to start the deep clean. So typically the common issue with automatic machines is the cleanliness of the machine and if you take off this head here you'll see that this little unit comes out this is the one that tends to get blocked the most so milk solidifies on those little nozzles there this is probably the most common issue with automatic machines so taking that off and cleaning that soaking that in the solution will save you a lot of trouble so if you know how to do that that's a big start so once we have the main menu um, of strengths obviously we can go into the service menu there's a brew rinser menu, there's a milk rinse menu, there's a one button maintenance menu. Obviously you can turn the machine on, there's information about the machine. Wipe and protect is just a quick way to clean the machine. But it's very easy to clean and it's all straightforward and it's all touch, one touch, prompt, arrow, yes, okay, very easy. The last one I wanna show you guys is a service menu. So with this little category here, we can adjust the volume and the grams of the machine's recipes. So let me just get into the service menu. So what you do now is you can change the drink settings, the machine settings and press that. And then we're gonna see the main, so we can change the picture, we can change the name. So once you have the main screen there, you just scroll up and you can change a couple of little settings here. You can change the cup size. So you can make it a large cup, a medium cup or a small cup. And then you've got um, a couple of different things. You can do milk first, milk foam, milk, and then coffee. You could go coffee first, you can change the order of the way it's made and then obviously you can change the proportions of milk you can add the temperature change it make it hotter and then we can look at coffee we can look at the grounds of coffee so we can make the coffee stronger we can do a pre-brewing function um, the mills of coffee so proportionate of mills per milk to make the coffee stronger brew pressure extraction control all these different settings. It is an amazing machine once you get into the settings and know how to manipulate these. Thank you for watching. It's a very straightforward, quick video from an automatic point of view. It is a very easy to use machine for an office, a school, any sort of environment where there is multiple people. This machine can do 100 cups a day, so you can get quite a few coffees through this machine. You won't be disappointed. You really need to designate someone in the office to do the cleaning. Um, and you pretty much plug and play and it's very easy to use and you're getting a very good product. So very durable, very good machine. Thumbs up from Depache. Don't forget to like us and hit the notifications and follow Depache. Thank you, bye.